All right, the first one again is the, the, the pressure inside a fluid is based on the height of the fluid and the density of the material, correct? So pressure is rho GH, right? Yes. Pressure is rho GH, correct? Now, again, if this is the material, which one is water and which one is oil? Oil floats on water, less dense floats on more dense. What is the density of water? It's one gram per cubic centimeter, but in terms of, in terms of standard metric, it's going to be that's oil and that's water, correct, right? And then the density in terms of meters per cubic, I'm sorry, kilograms per cubic meter this is going to be a thousand. Sorry, I keep switching things here. This is going to be eight ten kilograms per cubic meter, and this is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. Do you do you see that? If I'm converting from grams to cubic centimeters, I'm sorry. If I'm converting from grams per cubic centimeters to Kilograms per cubic meter, I'm just simply moving the decimal place three places to the right and then just simply changing the unit labels. Yes? Easy? So if it's one gram per cubic centimeter, I know it's a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. So if it's 0 0.810 grams per cubic meter, it would be 810 kilograms per cubic meter. Are, you, are we okay with that? Yes? So this is going to be... A thousand kilograms per cubic meter, and this will be eight ten kilograms per cubic meter. Are we okay with that? Yes. Let me rewrite this in here. And I tried to put some brown streaking to show you that it's a liquid, but I think we can understand that that's a liquid. This is oil. And this is water. All right, are you okay with that? Is that right? Yes? Okay. Now, the total density would be equal to what? What's the total density equal to? Wouldn't it be? would be equal to what? The density of what three things would I add together? What three things would I add together? Did I say the total density, the total pressure? You guys are looking at me like I'm weird. I haven't woken up yet. Sorry, Gabe. You look at me like I'm very confused. My apologies. Yes, work. Um, density. Yes, the, the density, acceleration, and height, rho GH, that's the way you calculate the pressure, given the density, of course, and the height. But how do you get the total pressure? How do you get the total pressure? What three pressures would you add? The atmospheric pressure. You'd add the atmospheric pressure, right? Pressure of the water, right? Plus the pressure of the oil, plus the pressure of the atmosphere. Correct? You with me? Yes. Yes? Yes? So, where can I write here? <coughs> can I write over here? So it'll be, it'll be what? Can I erase this? Yes. I can erase this, because we have that already here. Okay. So then we'll say, we use blue here, then we'll say, Total equals what? Equals, I'll leave off the unit labels. You just got to make sure that everything is in meters and kilograms and seconds, right? Okay, is that all right? Okay, so this will be, centimeters will be what? Convert that to what? 
meters. So 30 centimeters would be what? What is it? 0.3 meters. Point three meters, right? So that's 0.3 meters and that's 0.1 meters, right? Right? Easy? So the water would be plus the oil would be 810 times G times 0.3 plus plus the atmosphere, and we'll, we'll put that on at the end, plus the atmospheric pressure, correct? So what is, what is 1,000 times 10 times 0.1? That's going to be equals what? 1,000 pascals plus, this is 10, right? So 10 times 0.3 times 810 would be... 2,000, very good, 2,430, 2,430, plus what? 101,000, right? All right, so 1,000 plus 2,430 plus 101,000 would be... Total equals what? Four, no, you have a thousand plus two thousand four hundred thirty plus a hundred one thousand would be what is it? One hundred four thousand. That's right. Yes? 104,430. Are you with us? Easy or no? Yeah. Okay. Is the atmospheric pressure even? The atmospheric pressure would not be given. It would be understood. What I mean by that, <clears throat> you have the atmospheric <coughs> pressure written down somewhere, right on, the, on your equation sheet. Mm -hmm. So you have to know that. And then if I'm asked for the total pressure, it would be included. So it would be under, you'd, you'd un, it would be understood that you would include it. Now, if I just said, what's the pressure of just the liquid, what would that be? Just of the liquid. It would be 3,430, right? Yeah. Correct? Yeah. So it depends on what I'm asking for. If I'm asking for the total pressure, you'd include the atmospheric pressure. If I'm asking you just for the pressure of the fluid inside, because isn't, pr isn't the atmospheric pressure a fluid pressure? Isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. So, but if I'm, I'm just asking for the pressure inside the test tube, it would be 3,430. But if I'm asked for the total pressure, then you would add the 101,000 to it, correct? Yes? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to erase this. <clears throat> Excuse me, I left it on the board. I'll come back. I'll do another one. I think this is lecture something, 11 maybe? Is that right? 16 or 11? I don't remember. Yes? I'll leave this on the board. I'll shut it off. Are you with me?